Joining us right now to talk about this process and why wastewater is an important tool in the efforts to combat COVID-19 is Tyson Graber. He's an associate research scientist, CHEO Research Institute, and the co-lead investigator on the COVID-19 wastewater project. So Tyson, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Listen, let's go very basic here. Why does wastewater help with the surveillance of COVID-19? Well, yeah, even more basic. I mean, we shed this virus when we get it. We shed it in our feces. And, and so we're collecting this on a daily basis in Ottawa since last June. We really started this back in April last year. And we've been collecting daily. Um, and we're surveying the basically the entire population of Ottawa every day. So whether you are asymptomatic, presymptomatic, or symptomatic, if you're infected with SARS-CoV-2, um, we will see that signal in the wastewater. And, and a reminder that SARS-CoV-2 is actually the, the virus that leads to the disease. Uh, we do have a chart here uh, for people at home to see. It's a wastewater uh, signal chart, I think. Uh, describe for us what you're actually seeing here. So, yeah, not to get too complicated, but, but we, basically you're seeing a simple chart of, of that viral signal. So just to, to, to clarify that that virus is, is fragmented, so it's, it's not infectious, and so it's not a danger to people in the wastewater necessarily. Um, but we're detecting fragments of that virus, um, the genetic code. And we're seeing increases and decreases over time in this chart. And um, we've been able to follow um, resurgences of, of this virus, um, its prevalence in, in the community in Ottawa um, in, in several different periods of time. And, and most notably, back in the summer, in the early summer in July, we, we saw a resurgence. And we saw this actually before the clinical cases started going up. And this repeated itself a few times in Ottawa. So we've been through a few different waves now, and we've been able to detect that uh, those resurgences um, with this with this technique, okay. this test. Now, on Friday, we did hear from Ottawa's medical officer of health, and she said it seems that Ottawa, the city, is headed for a third wave, and added it's apparent in the wastewater. So, what are you seeing exactly? Well, the last week, and we, we really look at, look at weekly trends. Um, it's, it's really hard to say on a daily basis. There is a lot of variability in the data, but but over the last week, um, it's been shooting up quite rapidly, um, and, and quite a, quite a lot, which is which is worrying. Um, so we're really waiting for the other shoe to drop at the moment. Um, we expect cases to go up. We just don't know by how much. Um, so so that's what we're waiting for right now, really. Is there any indication that what you're seeing here might be variants? Are you doing testing for variants at all? Yeah, so we've um, so our, our tests and, and that plot that you saw there, um, this is actually showing um, the, the signal from uh, from all the vi known viral variants out there. So we're basically viral variant agnostic with that test. And um, so if, if there are variants out there, we're going to capture that as well with this test. But um, we've, we added another tool to the toolbox um, very recently in the last couple of weeks. And we're still validating this test, but this test specifically looks for pieces of the genome, of the viral genome, that piece of RNA that's associated with the UK variant. So this is called the B117 lineage. And um, we're starting to detect that now in Ottawa as of, as, as of last week. Um, so we're really looking at what, how, that, how fast that increases. So we're now we're able to discriminate the UK variant in the wastewater from um, all of the virus signal in the wastewater. So it's almost as if this testing is like the canary in the coal mine to tell you something's coming down the pipes. That's really what it is. And, and Ottawa's, um, you know, we're not alone in this. Uh, the other countries around the world are, are seeing this in, in, with various degrees of success. And um, this is hopefully, um, well, it is um, becoming, it's imp being implemented uh, across Ontario and, and hopefully soon um, in different parts of the country. Well, very interesting conversation. Uh, good to hear about your work. I appreciate it, Tyson. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. You too. That's Tyson Graber, Associate Research Scientist, CHEO Research Institute, who joins us in Ottawa.